She's been beaten up twice in a month, and he wants it resolved tonight. What do you know about Christina's boyfriend, Kiefer Bauer? Huh. Well, uh, Michael doesn't like him. He's picked fights with Michael, bullied Morgan, and actually, you know, Carly doesn't like the way that, that Kiefer treats Christina. Why? Apparently, she saw Kiefer manhandle Christina at some point. You know what? She actually thinks that it's Kiefer who's been beating Christina up, not Ethan. Why didn't you mention Kiefer as a suspect before? Because I had no proof. All I knew was Carly didn't like the guy. I can't go off of that. I figured if, if Kiefer was the one who attacked Christina, you would get there. Well, I did, but there's still no hard evidence. What do you have? All right, the, the night of the first attack, Christina was supposed to go to a party thrown by one of Kiefer's friends. And that friend told me that Kiefer was over the top, angry, waiting around for her. He finally took off somewhere between 8.30 and 9. At 9.30, Alexis's neighbor saw a light color SUV, just like the one Kiefer drives, leave the Davises. Timing fits. Yeah. It was after Sam dropped Christina off and before Ethan got there. Exactly. Now, now, Dante and I talked to Kiefer tonight. He was nervous and defensive, and now I'm afraid he... he... <sighs> Just a second. It's Dante. What's going on? Christina just identified Kiefer Bauer as her attacker both times. We gotta find this son of a bitch. <sighs> Tiffany? How's Christina doing? They're still running tests. So far, there don't seem to be any broken bones or internal injuries. She's in room 610. Thanks. Hey. She's just, uh, she's just taking a rest. How's she holding up? That's brutal. I mean, she didn't even get her a chance to heal from the first one, yeah? Did she ID Kiefer as her attacker? Uh, yeah. I put out that APB. Okay. You know, the Bowers are going to fight this tooth and nail. Kiefer's dad is a, a top attorney himself. He'll hire the best defense money can buy. And he's going to challenge Christina's statement because she lied before. Oh, she couldn't tell the truth for months. I don't know, tonight when I uh, sat with her, I saw trust in her eyes, you know? I think she felt safe with me, you know? Like she could tell the truth. My whole life, thing. I was, I was an only child, and I got a couple of brothers and a sister, and part of it feels new, and part of it feels like we've had this, this connection for a long time. Yeah. Well, speaking of siblings, I'll let Ethan know that he's off the hook. Is it Jason though? Yeah, I was, I was with him when you called, actually. Great. So he's loading his gun. We got to find Kiefer before he does. I know you don't think much of Jason, but if Sonny had ordered anyone else to take Ethan out. He wouldn't be alive right now. Just got a call from dispatch. Kiefer Bauer is brought in, victim of a hit and run. Uh, that's right. I'd like to speak with him. Uh, he's in and out of consciousness. He's not making much sense. But you can give it a try. He's in cubicle one. All right, thanks. Christina, uh, I'll come later. <laughs> Hear about your accident. Can you tell me what happened? The car was moving so fast. And what kind of car was it? Did you see the driver? Get away from my son. Kiefer. 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 Oh, God, Daddy and I are here. Kiefer. It's okay. Honey. Excuse me. How dare you interrogate my son while he's lying there critically injured? Your harassment is most likely the reason he got hurt. Mr. Bauer, I understand that you're upset. Okay. Kiefer was very upset the last time he spoke with you. He probably crossed that street in a completely distracted state of mind because of you. If his injuries are permanent, I am going to make sure that you, you are not only jobless, but you are buried in lawsuits. Christina Davis was attacked tonight in her home for the second time. I am sure that that is very, very sad, but that has nothing to do with Kiefer. Unless you think that her attacker is the one who ran my son down. 
It's not possible. Christina ID Kiefer as her assailant, both tonight and on the night of March 12th. I would strongly advise you not to accuse my son of crimes he didn't commit. I'm not accusing him. Christina is. Why don't you go find the maniac who ran down my son? I was, I was questioning him to see if he could identify the hit-and-run driver. Just tell him we'll be back. I'm glad Sky talked you into bringing this to me. I'm not sure I agree. You know, the more I think about this, the more it seems a quick exit is my best solution. Well, I understand what you're saying, but uh, taking a total bail is not a great idea. However, we could talk about a little road trip, maybe take a bounce over the pond Ethan. and take... What, did you lose your phone or something? I've been trying to get a hold of you. Any news about who thumped Christina? Yeah, that's why I've been trying to track him down, let him know he's in the clear. Christina ID Kiefer, her boyfriend, is her attacker. Great! So this is all over. Hold it, hold it. Looks to me like we're being a little optimistic. Well, this look, Sonny is definitely off your back now, which is good news, but we may have an unfortunate coincidence on our hands. Kiefer was hit by a car tonight, and your front fender is smashed in.